Hey guys, now today I'm going to do something that is actually pretty rare for me to do and normally something I'd only do maybe every five years or so and that is replacing the keyboard on my main PC. Now usually I wouldn't bother doing a video on something so mundane, you know, it's a pretty boring topic to cover, but the replacement keyboard I just bought is actually something a little bit special. Now I've been using this kind of bog standard Dell multimedia keyboard for uh, well about 10 years actually. I've had this particular keyboard about 5 years. I got it to replace an identical model that I had before it and you know it's done the job fine, nothing wrong with this keyboard and it has some nice features. It's got like a, a few audio controls here, a little volume knob, play rewind buttons that kind of thing, a few uh, application shortcut keys on the top and really quite useful actually on this keyboard it has a USB hub on the back. So that means I can plug in my wired mouse straight into the keyboard and also if you've got like a USB key that you want to use or a USB stick you can just put that straight to the back of the keyboard so that's quite useful rather than climbing down under the table to put it in the back of the PC. But I have had this particular keyboard five years now, it's got to the stage where the volume knob's a bit unresponsive now and it's looking a bit grubby too. I mean I do give it a clean every week or so but it's accumulated a lot of dust and it's looking a bit run down. So I did think it was time to get a new keyboard. So I took this opportunity to finally join the Mechanical Keyboard Club. Now this is the Das Keyboard 4 Professional model. And if you're not familiar with the difference between mechanical keyboards and the standard membrane keyboards that you might get, you know, included with a PC for example, these are the really clicky keyboards, you know, the ones that have got that really good tactile responsive keys and kind of sound a bit like you're clacking away like an old typewriter when you use them. And a lot of people swear by mechanical keyboards, you know, they think it's more enjoyable to type on, it makes you a better typist using them, a lot of gamers prefer using them too. And I've used mechanical keyboards in like shops and at shows and friends houses and that kind of thing. Always quite fancy getting my hands on one because, you know, I do a lot of typing for my job. I probably send about 60 emails a day, I type a lot of blogs for work, a lot of social media posts. So with the amount of time I spend typing, I want to get, you know, a nicer experience. So I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy using uh, a mechanical keyboard. Now the difference is, the way these work is, underneath every key, you've got individual switches. And on this keyboard, they're actually gold-plated switches. So that's what gives you that really, you know, nice clicky sound when you type on these keys. Uh, it does mean they're actually quite a lot more expensive than traditional keyboards. I think the Dell keyboard I've got behind me was about £20. This, it's a bit more, it's £160 to get your hands on one of these. But I thought in this video, what I'd do is give you a little unboxing and kind of give my initial impressions on the differences between using my, you know, keyboard I've been stuck with for 10 years and whether or not it's more enjoyable to use a mechanical keyboard. Alright, so the Dell keyboard disconnected and out the way and the DAS keyboard ready to be unboxed. Now there are actually a few different variants of the DAS keyboard 4. I've got the professional model. Now what that means is the characters are actually printed on the top of the keys. They do a version of this called the Ultimate that has completely blank keycaps. Now I'm not exactly sure who the demographic is they're aiming at with the blank keycaps. Maybe, you know, really hardcore typists. Uh, even though I'm quite proficient at typing, I've been doing it since I was about, you know, seven years old, um, occasionally it's quite useful to be able to glance down if you maybe forget where something is, so yeah, I'm not quite hardcore enough to have completely blank key tops. So this is a box it comes in. I've got the UK layout because I'm in the UK. A bit of information about the keyboard on the back. Uh, it tells you the specs there as well. Um, German engineered MX Blue mechanical key switches. Uh, cutting edge design, dedicated media controls. Uh, two port super speed USB 3.0 hub. Now I did mention before that you know having a USB hub is actually really useful. Um, not only for like USB keys, but also I do like to use a wired mouse. And I prefer wired mice and keyboard. I know there are some people who like you know swear by using wireless ones and I do use like a you know a wireless Apple mouse and keyboard on my Mac but the only thing is I find using wireless mice and keyboards that they'll generally always die at the most awkward moment you know my battery will run out at like two o'clock in the morning when I'm finishing up an email or a report and then there'll be no batteries left in the house I'll have to drive to the 24 hour supermarket just a pain I prefer having you know wide peripherals for my main PC um, we also have a detachable football ruler um, extra long cable which is quite useful and a full N key rollover now it does give you some uh, system requirements there but I imagine it'll probably work with anything that has a USB port on it probably so let's get it the right way around Make sure that's all in shot, and now we'll have a look what's inside the box. It even says there, you know, they boast about that clicky typing experience. Now there isn't actually any tape or anything on here, so I'm just pull that out. There we go. 
open that up make sure that's nicely in shot and we get a little bit of a material covering it here and there it is straight away the desk keyboard I mean let's check this thing out at the top first it is actually a ruler so quite why you need a, a ruler see all the measurements and stuff on that I'm not exactly sure but you know quite nice to get I guess included you never know when you might need a ruler and then if we uh, pull this material off there we go it just comes apart there it's actually ripped a bit that side too and then you can hear what a mechanical keyboard sounds like oh listen to that that is very satisfying I've got to say already so let's get it out of the box and we'll see uh, what the media controls and stuff are like on here so now I can see already it does have a permanently attached USB cable not detachable which uh, I probably would prefer a detachable one if I'm honest and here is the long USB lead so there we go we've got that free put that to one side take this out a moment anything else in here um, something in the side there no it's just a little uh, bit of padding um, tiny little manual desk keyboard does not require USB 3 to where uh, it's fine a um, couple of things there on there uh, doing self tests and that kind of thing so yeah nothing too exciting and apart from that little ruler thing um, that's all that's in the box and here it is in all of its glory the desk keyboard 4 now looking around the keyboard itself it's pretty standard you know PC layout quite interestingly it doesn't have any Windows keys instead it's got these little kind of tick symbols um, which is quite cool I mean if you're a Linux user for example or you want to use it on a Mac probably quite nice not to have uh, Windows keys forced in your face uh, we have the media controls up here as well and yeah that does feel really nice the volume knob you can actually control it from the side and quite a nice sound to it as well uh, we have play uh, skip track forward and back looks like a PC sleep button there as well and a mute button which is actually really useful to have you know if a phone call comes in you want to mute music tap that so I do like having controls like that on the keyboard itself then if we look around it yeah there is actually some uh, USB 3.0 ports there on the back which will be useful for my wired mouse and USB sticks and then um, quite interestingly there are no feet on this keyboard now I wonder if that's where this comes in because it looks like that could maybe just oh, fit, <laughs> there you go just fits in there so it feels like it's magnetized actually so if I turn this round yeah, it doesn't drop off if I put that down there you go it gives you the keyboard a bit of a, a raised angle so it's nicer to type one I don't like keyboards being completely flat uh, the USB wire does feel a bit cheap actually um, it's that kind of rubbery covering um, so yeah that does feel like you know something you might get from like the the pound shop or the dollar shop um, not too impressed with that it would be nice to have a completely de detachable cable and then have something a bit higher quality for the price um, this is like a aluminium or aluminum if you're American uh, casing that we've got here that does feel quality and you know, it's a nice nice weight to the keyboard and again you know it's all about that so I'm gonna get it set up to the PC and we'll have a little typing test on it all right so we're all set up and ready to go the desk keyboard is connected to my PC via the uh, big chunky rubbery USB cable um, I've got the same mouse I was using before this uh, you know cheapo Dell thing it actually feels quite comfortable so I'll probably stick with this mouse for now um, on this joint keyboard and mouse mat that I got off eBay a couple of years ago which has definitely seen better days that will need replacing at some point and I'm kind of at a bit of an awkward angle for typing you know I don't want to like nudge the camera out of the way so I'm kind of sitting off to the side but it should give me an indication as to what it feels like to type on the desk keyboard now first of all I thought I'd just quickly try out the um, volume control there and that is actually very satisfying to scroll it's got a nice click to it as you can see it's controlling the the volume on Windows there so yeah, it's really responsive very nice actually so I've got Microsoft Word open let's give this a bit of a typing test shall we let's angle it over towards me a little bit more that is really nice to type on I've got to say very responsive it just feels satisfying to press the keys as well it didn't recognize YouTube You're not really making many typos with it either so I you know I've only used it for a couple of seconds but already I'm enjoying this a lot more than my previous keyboard I've got to say so will I be converted I mean it's gonna take me probably a couple of weeks to really get used to using this keyboard every day but it sounds really nice as well you feel like a proper typist using this
So there you go, that's been a look at the DAS Keyboard 4. I've got to say, you know, I'm actually pretty impressed using this thing so far. And, you know, it does kind of sound a bit sad to say I'm looking forward to doing more typing. Uh, I'm sure the novelty is going to soon wear off, but anything I can get to make my day-to-day -day kind of work a bit more enjoyable or easier, I think it's probably a good thing. I've got a feeling maybe my wife, if she's trying to sleep in the next room or my next door neighbours, might not enjoy the sound of it all that much, but, you know, I, I think it is a more pleasurable experience. Maybe you've got a mechanical keyboard, maybe you swear by them, maybe you've got a model a keyboard that you really like using, uh, do let me know. Leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next bit.